Hello YouTube, Anna Bella here and today I'm going to be doing two magazine reviews that I've not done before. I'm going to be doing Adventure Time issue number, let's see, 20 hashtag, February 2015 and the gift may vary apparently. And um, that is by Titan Comics and Cartoon Network. And I'm also going to be reviewing Eco Kids Planet Special Double Issue 4, The Coral Triangle and The Great Barrier Reef. Okay, I'm going to look at Eco Kids Planet first. So this is the issue. It is a glossy issue and it's glossy card. And Finding Nemo, Facts and Fiction, What are Corals? Dangerous reef creatures, and it features a lovely sea turtle. And it's got 12 pages of activities, puzzles, and experiments inside. Free origami, four large posters, and a postcard from a whale shark. Okay, so here's the postcard from a whale shark. There he is with all those lovely cleaners. So that's the postcard. And onto the contents, we've got the Coral Triangle and the Great Barrier Reef, Seven Wonders of the Coral Triangle and Great Barrier Reef, Finding Nemo, Colourful Corals, Natural Treasures in Peril, Glossary, Workbook, The Leatherback Turtle, Amazing Dangerous Reef, Trumps, Turtles of the Great Barrier Reef, Becoming a Marine Biologist, Workbook Answers and Origami. So here we have the introduction to the Great Barrier Reef. Nice little map there, as well as some pictures and lots of reading. Seven Natural Wonders. Mount Everest. Milky Seas. Ghost Fleet of Trunk Lagoon. Birds. Great Barrier Breathe, Blue Holes in Australia, Finding Nemo, Fact and Fiction, All About Coral, so we've got Table Coral, Pillar Coral, A Crown of Thorns, Sea Star Feeds on Coral, Polypus, Brain Coral, Sea Fan, Sea Pen, Elk Horn Coral, yeah, you go from a sea fan, brain, sea pen, to elk horn coral. Yippee. Okay, this is the glossary, which is really quite good. And then we've got Eco Kids, this workbook. Turtle's Eye View. Coral Reef Food Chains. I love food chains. Lovely colouring picture that is um, obviously the animals and sea creatures within it and fish will also be automatically correct because this is an educational publication. Okay, some anagrams there. An Australian pelican. There's a sea turtle. What kind of turtle is it? A leatherback turtle. Oh, common lionfish can kill you because they're poisonous. Just so you're aware. So watch out for them in the sea. If you see one, I suggest fleeing. An omegami crab. Lovely. Coral desk tidy. Oh, they always want to do desk tidy projects. Test your knowledge. Crossword. Oh, Captain Cook. Oh, I did a um, a project on him at school. The Rainforest of the Sea. Reef Trumps. No questions. Oh, look at Dugong, also known as a manatee. I believe. Dugong! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know about the Pokemon. Coral Triangle, indigenous people, so people that live there. Turtles of the Great Barrier Reef. I know I don't normally do whole magazine things, but this one just looks so interesting. Want to become a marine biologist? 
answers, the origami crab thing, and here's some previous issues. Okay, so we've got issue one was the Amazon rainforest, issue two was the Arctic, and issue three was the Nambian desert. And issue four, no, issue five, because this is issue four, the Great Barrier Reef and the coral triangle issue five will be madagascar so it will be about those stupid dumb lemurs and no offense to lemurs they're lovely and cute but they're not the brightest of the primate family sorry guys it's just a fact okay so that's the educational bit i kind of like that because that's like geography with animals and a bit of histoire in there or l'histoire as the french would say for history so yeah i think it's quite good quite fun it's a bit heavy on the old jargon though but hey ho it's always good to stretch people it could be a little bit more colourful I think with like cartoons but then again it is trying to be factual and it's trying to be accurate and I think it's trying to um, trying to get a wider readership as possible because I think this magazine would probably be from like 14, 15 downwards in age probably to about 8 and up I'd say or maybe 7 7 to 15 I give that. And how much is it? £3.30. I mean, it would have been nice if it was been like National Geographic to have like a little, maybe a pencil. Okay. From the highly serious and educational to adventure time. Okay. Inside, we get two goody toys, which we'll look at later. And we get a magazine. But we also get this lovely plastic thing. So it says, two awesome mystery gifts, Adventure Time. Magic Battle Royale versus Science. Revealed Adventure Time's biggest fan. You get a winsome Lego, an eight-page original comic strip. Now, I know that there's some debate in the Adventure Time world. Is it for children? Is it for kids? I know the Cartoon Network show makes it, is obviously child-friendly. But I know that in some of the books, some of them are books are clearly aimed at adults and some of the... Um, books are clearly aimed at children so there is this weird kind of my little pony um brony thing going on with adventure time not to say that um i i believe in my little pony all the stuff is child friendly it's just an adventure time i believe some of it is um like family guy okay so this is adventure time 20 so we've got debate comp experiment magic poster and strip nine 199 original. Okay. Here we go. So the debate. So Ice King versus the Bubble Princess, Bubblegum, Princess Bubblegum. She's arguing for science and the Ice King is arguing for ma magic. It's very difficult to decide science or magic. I'll leave that up to professionals. Wizard only, fools. Okay. Uh. Which time guide to Wizard Only Fools. So there we go. We've got some of this Lego Ninja Masters rubbish advertising. Princess Bubblegum does science. Woo! We like science. You will need coloured sweets, five small glasses, a large glass, warm water, sugar, and a spoon. That looks kind of fun. Oh, some lovely creativity. Ice King timeline. Algebraic ice cube trick. Sweet. Magic versus science. Poster there. Adventure time. Every day on Cartoon Network. Did not know that, but that sounds good. Swap or not. I never swap. There's a cute little comic. We like comics. Ah, I can't turn pages. Cartoon Network News. I miss Cow and Chicken. That was an awesome show, but they don't make it anymore because it was deemed inappropriate. Say no more. Ooh, what'd you get? Right, if you subscribe to this, you get free season two, you save 15% and free UK delivery. That's nice. And the fantastic thing. Oh, lovely. Maya Smith, 13, from Birmingham. She's the super Adventure Time fan. And on the back, we have Sean the Sheep movie, which uh, me and my mum are really looking forward to, actually. Okay, the free gifts. 
Oh, I've got this dude before. But you can never have enough. You put the little tapes inside the little tape deck and you shoot them out. Bing! Uh, yeah, they do shoot out from between his legs. Moving swiftly on. Okay, I've not seen this one. So I don't know how it works, but I'm guessing it's a similar... We shoot. We put these little discs in. They say splat, wham, thump, whack, clink. And I suspect that Finn's golden sword of battle, and I suspect that that goes up and down, and they shoot out, and you can hit people in the face with them. Not that I'm recommending that you go around hitting people in the face with these discs, because that might be dangerous, and you might hurt their eyes. Moving swiftly on. Okay, so this is the end of this review. My next review, I'm going to be looking at these two wonderful Doctor Who CDs and I'm finally going to get around to do my si a series of unfortunate event review. So, see you in the next um, video.